catchy title for this video, huh? But I come here thinking I'm talking about marijuana. <laughs> well, marijuana is one of the few uh, plants, weeds that grow out there that's actually proven non-toxic. <laughs> it's a non-toxic. It's actually, if after further research, and you have to find to find research on it, you have to go to Israel and other countries that actually allow uh, medical uh, research into pot. But this isn't about pot. This is a plant that I find in my fields that I want the government to ban and make illegal. They should eradicate this plant because it's so dangerous. It's called milkweed. I know the monarch butterfly requires it to live, but it's for the greater good because this plant is so toxic. Hey, let me arrow down here so you can see it where it bleeds. Uh, that's why it's called milkweed. You can see the uh, little sap running out there. Let me see if I can zoom into it there. Now you can collect that sap, which uh, contains a, a lack of a better word in layman's term, heart stopping poison. That's right. Can cause you to go into cardiac arrest. So this is way more deadly than marijuana and. As soon as this video gets out, people will know how to collect this, concentrate it by simply dehydrating the sap from the milkweed, and you could kill your neighbor with a heart attack. You know, wad it up like a little tar ball and throw it in their coffee or something. You know, I don't know. Just, you have to experiment on delivery methods, but we've got a highly toxic plant that should be made illegal and then the state can come and spray my fields for it and get it out of the fields because you know it doesn't make really good hay and the horses won't eat it or nothing but it's poison and it's deadly and we need to do this to save our children so we should make the milkweed illegal because it's so dangerous the lawmakers y'all make these problems. I mean, every time you make something else illegal, put it in a criminal justice system, all you do is ruin people's lives, period. If somebody's dumb enough to try to use some of this as a, uh, a drug, well, and they die, uh, well, you know, there goes stupidity, but uh, uh, as seen right here, I'll put a link to this. Uh, Teens now getting high on hallucinogenic flowers. Oh, I don't think that's the flower they're talking about. But anyway, there are many flowers that have toxins in them. When consumed in small amounts, will produce hallucinogenic effects. So now that the government is doing such a fine job of making marijuana and stuff like that illegal and hard to find and expensive, well, the teenagers are going to go around smoking everything in the, in the herb garden. Let's try this and see if this works. And sooner or later, they're going to find something that works. Kind of like that uh, the Western uh, sagebrush. A uh, common name, name is Steva or Steve, Steliva, something like that. Anyway, uh, that's they don't want you to know the common name for it because it's a weed that grows all over the Western Plains. <laughs> and it's hallucinogenic. So, yeah, they don't want everybody to know the real name of it. So, uh, yeah, if you live out west and your state has banned that, you know, just stop on the side of the interstate and pick all you want for free. <laughs> it's a common weed. So, you know, we the only way to stop this nonsense is just ban all the plants. All plants, which I think Monsanto wants to do that anyway. So everything will just strip our yards uh, of anything that could possibly have poisonous content in it because we need a nanny up there in Washington to tell us this stuff. <laughs> and we need more law enforcement. Yeah, we need more people in, in armored vehicles and riot gear. and We need to, what did Obama call it? We need a, a, a police force as strong as the army. So we need to be policed like the 
like an army? We need an army policing us? Did we fight a revolutionary war over this already? Oh, please. So, anyway, I'll put some of the links to this stuff down below, and you can look at it for yourself. It's just, the more and more research you do into the America's drug laws, it's insanity. Uh, every time you turn around, I mean, people say, Oh, well, marijuana is a gateway drug. Teenagers will use it and then try something else. Uh, no, they might use it and decide not to try something else because, hey, this works pretty good, you know. And us old farts can actually find out that, hey, this makes the swelling in my joints go down. Hmm. That's something that's not listed very often under cannabis. Yes, anti-inflammatory. Very anti-inflammatory. Actually, stronger than this. Oop, where's this? Infl anti-inflammatory. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the whole the whole criminal DEA drug fiasco has been a, a bunch of political lies from the very beginning to scare the American public. That's all it is. It is they're using, you know, a few people have problems, and these pe same people have problems with anything. These are the same people that are addicted to Mountain Dew. They, there's, there is people out there that literally can't go a day without their Mountain Dew. And in their mind, they, they just go nuts. Well, basically, it's a sugar and caffeine rush, but... We'll just call it Mountain Dew. So let's ban Mountain Dew because it's addictive. Or should we treat the addiction like a like the medical problem? It's you know it's not a criminal problem. You don't ruin somebody's entire life because they have a medical condition, right? If their medical condition is so severe that children are involved and children get hurt, well, we do the same thing we do in the criminal justice system, except. If you put it in the medical position, after the parents get out of treatment, they have the opportunity to get their children back if they stay clean, and they don't have a criminal record, and then they can get a job again, and, you know, get someplace other than uh, sweeping floors at the Waffle House. I mean, what what do you want to do here, folks? This is this uh, knee-jerk, let's make everything illegal. It's, it's the same thing with the guns. Oh, it's a boogeyman. That, that that rifle's black. I remember, where was it at? Oh, I remember when this gun here was going to be made illegal because it could get through airport scanners. It was the plastic gun. The plastic gun. You remember that? Remember the bunch of liars? The liars in the big media? It was all a fictitious lie to scare the public to say, Ooh, ooh, it's a plastic gun. It's going to make it through the airport metal detector. And we found out, bullshit. <laughs> it was all bullshit. It's just like this, this, this whole prohibition thing on all these drugs, bullshit. It's all bullshit. You need to open your eyes, take the blinders off, and look around. I mean, God built this perfect world here for us. We just ain't figured out how to use it. And taking things away that he put here for our use, and saying, you can't have that, because I'm afraid what it might do. Wait a minute. You're afraid what it might do? You're afraid of a possibility of something happening? Uh, that's paranoia and in any society that has enough people in it surely we can find somebody that OD'd on marijuana no we can't uh, they point to a couple of suicides on concentrates they were taking concentrates concentrated marijuana here we go more bullshit more scare tactics some kid jumped had marijuana in the system, or did the uh, stuff, and he jumped off of a building. The marijuana did not kill him. The sudden stop killed him. 
unlike these plants right here that their teens are going to, because marijuana is harder to get now, uh, they're going to experiment with anything. So let's find out. Well, if we can't get this, let's see what else we can get high on. Hmm. I'm sure we can read a chemistry book and figure out something. So, you know what? We need to have a good debate on this with somebody that's really good at debating uh, pros and cons of this prohib whole prohibition thing. Because they do it. They've done it a couple of times. Uh, with reports in Congress and the major medical thing saying, look, prohibition uh, being treated as a criminal thing is not helpful to society anywhere in the world. Nope. Uh, redefine it. Medical problem, if it's an addiction, now it's got to be an addiction, not just somebody out there going, wow, uh, good for my sinuses. You know, or hitting a bong, or in some cases, eating the whole plant. You can sprinkle it up, which I think is the best way to do it. Okay, I've done rattled on it. I've looked at my clock here. It's 11 minutes, and uh, my audio probably mess up if I go any longer. But anyway, everybody call their congressman, tell them that the milkweed is dangerous, and you need to make it illegal, because, <laughs> because it might kill somebody. It might save a child. The child, there might be a child out there that had, actually there, there is some people that have been poisoned by milkweed, so uh, there is some case studies of actual deaths caused by this plant. Unlike marijuana, where there was no deaths directly attributed to the substance itself, uh, if you want to consider a sudden stop on the pavement, <laughs> uh, being killed by marijuana, yeah, right. Uh, this right here is a much better thing. Let's let's go ahead and uh, make all these horticultural plants illegal. No more gardens, no nothing, because we might, a child might get into your flower garden. They might get in those rosary peas. Oh yeah, rosary peas are deadly too. It might get into something, so something might happen. So let's make it illegal. That's, that's what the Europeans think. Surely we can't go wrong following the Europeans.